This review looks at two versions of the Senebogen 860. The R version weighs 77 tonnes in real life and is NZG model number 893. And the M version weighs 71 tonnes and is model number 894. Both models come in similar boxes but unfortunately I've misplaced the R version. Ah there it is, for a moment I had myself fooled. The M stands for mobile which is wheeled and the R stands for rolpo which is tracked. So for the unboxing we'll get our wheels on and unpack the mobile version. There is some technical information about the real machine on the box, but there's no information about the model. Inside there are two expanded polystyrene trays which are factory sealed, and on lifting the lid the model is protected by some soft paper. So out it comes, it's fairly heavy so you need to lift it carefully and take off the packaging materials. But as you can see the model is not complete out of the box and that's because there are some parts that have to be fitted. So also included are a couple of bags containing handrails and there's also the orange peel grab which is wrapped in soft paper. The tracked version is pretty much the same although you do get some spare track links in the bags and you also get the dubious pleasure of taking off the cling film from the tracks. There are a few parts to fit to complete the model, and we start by adding the metal hand railings. These simply slot into place into preformed holes and they're a good fit. They're also metal so they feel like quite nice parts. After the three sections which are installed around the body there's one last part to fit, and that's the platform and handrails which fit onto the cab. Once again it's a push fit and it stays in place well. There is one other tiny little piece to fit and maybe it's supposed to be a video camera and that just clips onto a special place on the handrail. The last part to fit is the grab which you can offer up to the end of the stick and there's a steel pin which gets inserted. And if you decide to stop playing with it you can insert the hydraulic hoses into a connection point in the stick. <laughs> We'll start with the tracked version and there's some detailing underneath the body and the metal track shoes are nicely detailed. The track frames are also detailed with some nice paint highlighting and there are working rollers. The Senebogen Max cab is detailed really well with a good interior and fine metal grab rails on the outside. The body has got painted panel handles and rear lights and on top of the counterweight is a video camera. The top of the body has a clean finish and there are plenty of hydraulic hoses running to the boom. The hydraulic ram jackets have a reasonable colour match to the Senebogen Go for Green and all of the connections are discreetly made. The grab is particularly well made, it's all of metal and the Senebogen graphics really add to its look. The mobile version has a very heavy undercarriage with the drive mechanisms modelled and the rubber tyres are convincing and are mounted on nice metal wheels. The stabiliser beams and pads are metal and they're very robust. The only other difference this version of the model appears to have is in the cab because it has a steering wheel. Sticking with the mobile version, let's see how mobile it is. And it rolls along in a very sure-footed way, which is a bit of a silly thing to say because it's got wheels, not feet. Both axles are fixed, whereas on the real machine the steering axle is oscillating. However, the steering mechanism is good because it does have a decent range of movement and it's got a nice stiffness so it holds any pose that you set. And actually it's quite nice to drive. The mobile version has four point outriggers which it uses when working and these are quite stiff on the model but that's a good thing. The result is that with all four outriggers down it can support the machine wheels free. So that version was really good, what about the tracked version? Well as is often the case with NZG tracks they're fairly stiff and they won't roll on a smooth surface and they take some effort to move by hand. But if you do put them on a rough surface and apply a bit of pressure then they do bite and they will roll. Another feature that is available on a tracked version is to remove the tracks. And you do that by unscrewing the base plate and then you can unscrew the tracks themselves. 
Those of you with sharp eyes will notice that this is actually the HD version of the 860 model. That model is NZG 892 and was reviewed previously. Back to the 860R and the rotation is fairly smooth, with some occasional stiffness that might need to be worked out of the system. Material handlers often have elevating cabs and this one works very well. On to the movement of the boom and stick and generally it's very good. The boom can be raised almost completely to a vertical position and if you drop down a stick the grab comes right close to the machine. The grab is metal though and it's relatively heavy. So one test to carry out is the stability of the model at maximum reach. And the good news is that it's very stable and it doesn't want to tip over. But that is the tracked version so we need to try the same with the wheeled version. And the result is the same so that's plus points for NZG. Now we'll take a closer look at the grab and it's got a limited amount of rotation. And that's because of how the hydraulic lines are tied into the stick. The general functioning of the grab is very good. And each of the shells is on an interlocking mechanism so when they close they all close together. The part is well engineered and it's certainly good for swingers. For the genuine imitation real life test we will configure the 860M as a transport load. One nice touch is that you can insert plastic spacers into where the platform fitted. And that's a pleasant little aspect of the model. So let's get on and lower the boom and that's always the crunch test. And actually on this version of the model it's pretty good because the boom more or less goes horizontal. So when you put it on the low loader it makes a reasonable attempt at having a low enough headroom. And that means the model makes quite a good display pose. So if you're wondering whether to get the tracked or wheeled version, well just don't let the decision tear you apart. Overall these are two robust high quality models of Senebogan machines by NZG. The details and features are all very solid and the Senebogan Gover Green colour scheme is very attractive. Both versions of the model are highly recommended. Thank <laughs> you.